Come to Buzz. Big call, oh. big call. Calling it now. Let's All go. Right. Smashville. You want to so, put some high stakes bets on there? Not really. Oh. I don't. Uh. You know what? Sure, why not? He's already got seven. <laughs> All right, here we go. So again, this is gonna be a weird matchup, but again, Zamba can do this with Rob, right? He gets him, he starts just carrying him across the stage with the down tilt. The down tilt locks are very common from this character. Like, he does a fantastic job just pushing you to the other side of the stage and gets you a free kill afterwards if they're at high enough percent. It's like, <laughs> down tilt just leaves you so far in advantage. It's such a good move. Plus on block, baby. Like, I think, I don't know, sure, actually. Down tilt? It feels plus on no, block. No, it is, and it's also like, the recovery frames on it lets you get away with mur literal murder yeah. when it comes to Rob play. Like, down tilt and forward tilt are criminal. But, but you know what? If Omar's, Omar's not, not he's not going to let you set up the down tilt if you're airborne the whole time. You know, one quick thing I want to bring up with Omar is you're probably going to see DeBuzz use the red Pikmin more than usual in this matchup, purely because it's very difficult for Rob to remove that Pikmin. Normally, the Pikmin place themselves all around a character, but of course, Rob's Nair covers damn near all over yeah. him. Or arm rotor, you know, like the one that just killed him. That's the move that we're going to see a lot of from Zamba, even outside of its more cheesy aspects, just because that's the only reliable way Zamba has for removing any of that damage over time he's going to see from the red pick. Okay, now we're big chilling off stage again, 128. Kill squad online. Let's see what they're going to bring. And there goes Blue. All of these projectiles everywhere. You got the, the Pikmin, the little gyro up there. It's increasing so much hits. That's the second kill today we've seen from up air in a row from DeBuzz. It's a great answer your check because, like, Omar himself doesn't actually go that high up. You know, casual 64, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the fact that he's able to check all of that aerial space that Zama's going to want to try to occupy because it's not safe landing space. It's just a great call out. Okay, try to call the landing. Oh, calls out the roll instead. And a very dominating game one coming out from DeBuzz. Two stocks to play with. So we, we, have, we had the finger coming up from Zamba. The potential counter pick could be coming up from him. I know he does have a Roy. He has a Roy. Yeah. He has a Link. He has a Joker. He's got a, a host of characters he's willing to pick into. Uh, I would not be surprised to see that Link come out, as we can hear from the game audio. And... I don't see a switch of character from DeBuzz. I think he's going to ride Olimar out this whole way. If he wasn't going to pick Rosa to go into Rob, it's probably just going to be Olimar the whole show. You don't want to pull uh, a Kofi, where you, you, get, you get a win and then switch to Sheik. Oh. Like, what are you doing, hey, bro? Now, first of all, his Sheik, that's nice, but not nice enough. You know, I don't want to talk about my lad right now. Right, let's talk about the other Zelda characters. We got on stage here, Link. So this character, um, much improved from previous iterations. Oh, absolutely. Actually has some sauce going for him. Has the ability to just, you know, try to wall out his opponents with the projectiles, but he's playing rather aggressive. He's looking for these nares because Link gets so much off of it, right? If he manages to connect that long-lasting hitbox, they can confirm him into some smash attacks, potentially. On top of that, neutral air will help get the Pikmin off of Samba. Ooh, it leads into stuff like that. He was fishing for Nair the whole time. It's going to deny the Pikmin. It's going to kill the Pikmin. It's going to be his combo starter. I just can't believe guard. he just spammed Nair the whole time and managed to connect into a forward smash. That was disgusting. All right. Even though he got the parry, he thought maybe he could get that uh, forward tilt out in time. No, no, no. We got all of our fisty cuffing Ooh. with those jabs. That was, that was a smart answer coming out from the buzz. You know, he realized, he recognized that he got the parry. He's like, you know, I'm just going to punch. Get those jabs out. I like how Zama's trying to keep a very mid game right now. He's staying at Swords length, but he doesn't want to give DeBuzz enough breathing room to really start a counter offensive. Take note out, DeBuzz has not had enough time to establish a lot of Pikmin presence. He's been rocking on one or two Pikmin, Bro. and he's already down two stocks. This is a complete reversal from game number one. That Rob was just like, put that in, in hock forever, dog. He could bust out the hero of time. I'm just saying, Austin, you're lucky, man, you didn't take that bet, because this is not looking like a 3 0. Not the way that Zamba's playing right now. Wait, I, the buzz is the master of uh, comeback, so wait and see, wait and see. All right, all right. Here it comes. He's got the edge guard. He's got this. Oh, the hold spike. on. Uh, He's dead. I thought he was going to downbeat from like yay high, like mix up the buzz. It definitely looked like a miss input of some kind because he just upbeat when there was no pressure coming towards him. Yeah, there's, there's some shenanigans afoot, but yeah. Samba has a whole stock to play around with. And he is just chilling. But. He has got himself back on board. He's only got the, the one Pikmin, but if there's any one to have, it's yellow. Getting that one hit is all he needs to reestablish a base. 
And look at that, they all pop off. Oh, he oh. charged that up B. That was, ooh. He wanted the shield break. Or he wanted a spot dodge. He wanted he wanted like a, something. <laughs> he either wanted to kill him or he wanted a style He killed him, him, bro. He got him. Forward smash. It's game two. Going to Zamba. Taking a point off of DeBuzz. Showing himself up. You know, not many people know about this kid. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to say that New York has any hidden talents with all the eyes that are on the tri-state area now. But if we had one, we had one champion of the unknown, it's Zamba. I know very little about him, so uh, he doesn't come out to Zeno like ever. Or no, no he's, he's Staten Island's pride and joy. I believe uh, he's ranked number two in all of Staten Island, or number one. He's really strong, has amazing records on Frozen. He sharks a lot of New Jersey victories. He's like a 15 or 16, right? He is a young yeah. lad. I think he just recently turned 14 or 15. 14? Okay. No, like he is actually- My man can't even drive! He's actually here. baby. Like, there's a very good chance that he's only just now able to legally have a Twitter account. Is that a thing? Yeah, you have to be 13 or older to have a That's Twitter. funny. And, 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 you know, it should be true. All right, let's jump into it. Final destination. So, good. obviously, fantastic stage for all of our fantastic stage for DeBuzz. No platforms for him to try to, like, run, run around from. Just a pure, like, ground. That being said, though, there is the other side of Link that we didn't really get a chance to see in that game, too, and that is his zoning potential. We've seen Zala use plenty of the boomerang, but mostly as, like, a, a close-range check or, like, just a space occupier. But it's a decent zoning tool in its own right. And between that, the bomb, the arrow, Zamba is able to play the long-range game if necessary. But he's sticking more to that mid-range game. He's still trying to just keep the damage on and make Debuzz pay every time he throws a pick. I mean, yeah, he's getting caught by the purples, puts him off stage. I like the idea of throwing the bomb up. Try to either... It, it, it's one of those things where you throw the bomb up, right? Because not only is there, like, a bomb right in front of you now, but it's also a distraction because, like, keep your eye on the, the magician's trick, right? Keep your eye on that so you're not focusing on me. Right, right. So, but it didn't work out. The buzz just saw right through it. Got the kill, too. And now he is riding this damage bit by bit. Oh, interesting. So we saw that Nair from the buzz Help, uh, I'm sorry, up air from the buzz helped check Link's Nair when he was in front, but not when he was behind. Very interesting interaction. Yeah, that up tilt anti air, so strong. It covers such a wide arc. That's one thing I always like to bring up about Link compared to the previous heroes that we've seen in Smash. This Link is just straight up a barbarian. He does not swing his sword with any sense of grace. He grew up in the wild. Vance is actually just well dressed Tarzan. There he is. Okay. Going for some safe kicks here, not even using the sword. The Nair offstage, fantastic tech coming out from DeBuzz. Oh. Almost died the forward tilt, that would have been devastating. He's at such a low percent, but gets caught by the explosion instead. Excellent ledge play from Zamas. Helping to really keep this battle a tense one. Oh, I even hear the voices in the crowd from Staten Island that's in attendance today. Oh. Popping off for their prodigy. Okay. angling on the boomerang, it's giving DeBuzz a little bit more space, and of he... course, He's coming back. Oh, I, the buzz tried to catch him with the up smash because he knew the bomb was coming. Link has the ability to drop that bomb and just send him off, uh, the, like, flings him center stage. That being said, though, it always flings at a very consistent angle. And if you can occupy that space, you could just check Link before he is out of his hit stun, so you just catch him out. DeBuzz was able to pick up the kill anyways, though, even though he missed that initial up smash. So let's bring it to a final stock. Winner of this stock is going to be sitting insanely pretty for the last of the set because you have counter pick advantage, so it's very important for someone, to, whoever wins this, to get this win. This will be a very valuable win for Zamba if he manages to grab this set. He, he's been on the hunt for that PGR. And trying to shark out more local wins. A win on the buzz is a real good look in this current season. He's, but he's very dead. Zamba was mixing up his recovery there, too, if you notice. Uh, he had his double jump, so he didn't commit to the up B right away or just jump to the ledge right away. He actually delayed it a bit before going for the double jump. And then he, he pushed the up B right after pushing the double jump to try to mix up when he's going to go for it, but DeBuzz just reacted. Yeah, the problem well, with that kind of a mix-up is that you're just giving DeBuzz more time to set up his lineup and set up with his aerials. It's right here. So, like he went for the double jump, and that just, like I said, just it gave him ample time to get that down air. But, like, he had to go for it, so now we got the third counter pick coming out. The character I was saying earlier, uh, boys are Roy. Or Roy's our boy. The boy Roy. Roy boy. Roy boy is here. Here he comes for game number four. All right, well... As far as matchups are concerned, if he gets in, Olimar just sort of explodes. And that's, he's gonna have no trouble doing that. 
He's just gonna, he's just gonna run in and play like a gorilla. And that's how you gotta play characters like Roy. You know, you gotta get in there. And not all. Oh, he tried to go for the up B, put himself in a bad pickle, but managed to escape. So we take those. One thing right off the bat I just want to highlight, because we're probably going to see it a lot in this game four, and if we get to it in game five, um, using Order Call's armor to get out of tough situations is especially oh, good geez, he took when fighting against Roy. He took so much damage in that exchange. And it, it was just too much, too, because like the white pigment was wailing him the whole time. This doesn't look like it's working out for Zamba. It's definitely a rough start, but given Roy's kill potential... Interesting. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. The Odor Call armor is just so good. It's not a lot of active frames as far as the armor for it goes, but Buzz has always been very keen on oh when to activate it. And the up B doesn't kill the red Pikmin because it's fire. Yep. That's hilarious. A little bit of a callback to game one. It's funny, too, because red Pikmin has very little practical application outside of being like a worse blue Pikmin. So to see its fire property be the most relevant aspect of it, always charming. It goes for the forward tilt, sweet spot on the edge of the uh, the hilt of the blade. And finally get the kill, but it might be a little bit too late. He's already at 132%. But here comes Roy, can rack up the damage super quick here. All he needs is that one up air to get those combos started. Also has an up, a very powerful up, yeah, Shuli. He can swing in either direction. And it's a good call out from Zamba too, because he saw the spot dodge from the buzz, and typically speaking, you see a spot dodge, probably a smash attack following with Olimar. And uh, Zamba got a little bit predictable with his recovery there. The timing of when he goes for the ledge option to get back onto the stage, the ledge just called it out with a forward smash. You gotta be, you gotta be able to mix up those timings. It's a shame for Zamba. We've seen multiple times he's trying to get that jab into the uh, double, uh, double edge dance, I believe it is. Yes. But Order Call gets Olimar out scot free. So, Zama needs something a little bit more reliable to net these kills. Okay, I like that to buzz throw. Oh, no, he's living though. 83%. Forward air gets the sweet spot, gives him plenty of room to breathe. But the second he made that jump, loses the exchange from the up air. Yeah, I mean, jab on shield may seem safe, but it actually isn't. You can't, you can't go for a second one if the opponent knows what they're doing. Yeah, no, you, you only really get down tilt, and even at that, like how forward safe are you The taunt? Okay. I mean, two kills kill the same way. Sweet spot forward tilt. If we can do it one more time, this could be the time to shine. Does anyone that can make a comeback back to Roy is that character? But he's off stage. He's off stage. Oh, but so is the buzz now, giving a little bit of punch control here. Whose sword is bigger? That white Pikmin is wailing on him! He's big chilling. And just like that, we see the victory turn to Debuzz. That was like 20 damage! Let's watch that again. This is the second time there was a white just wailing on him. He was at like 140. He's actually just chewing on him. He did 35! What in the world? You, so one thing I think Zamba struggled with in that matchup, as Roy anyways, was when he had a Pikmin on him, he didn't know what option to get him off of. Because like my instinct was up air, but then he tried that once, and it depends on where where the Pikmin latches onto you, right? right? Which move you can go for, because like Nair is usually a good option. Forward air if they're in front of you, back air if they're behind you. Uh, but if you don't recognize where they're at, you don't know what, what is your go-to move. It can be tough, like Rob, for instance. Rob has a Nair that just like gets him off of it because it covers his entire body. So I felt like that was one thing where he, uh, like Zamba took a lot of damage, was just Pikmin eating him. That was a predictable timing thing I was talking about earlier that I was highlighting. Since right. He got that forward smash because he, he grabbed the ledge, waited a second, and got up. He did that multiple times. So DeBuzz just adapting to his opponent, getting his foe. And uh, You know, I like how willing Zamba was to use his counter picks as needed, and I think Link was a great pick, but Roy I don't think was the play just because there were so many little aspects of Olimar's kit that let DeBuzz play the game that he wants to play. Well, the Link to put it in a game, so Zamba can at least put that out. Link I almost put it in a second game, too. I, I feel like he could have went with the Link one more time, but I don't I don't shy away from him trying out Roy. The trial your characters against a PGR player. Might as well throw that out there. So, DeBuzz moving on to the Braggus. 